Check. Hi. I'm on my match in the dark. 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 Coming up next, a UFC lightweight division battle. Here he is, the decorated kickboxer, back for more here tonight. And he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading a right. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out. But he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, com he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their turn. He's doing it on his turn. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker. One of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jake. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena, in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 149 pounds. Fighting out of Riverside, California, USA, and now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your plane. striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off the Big ball punch lands. Now we get back to range. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night at that landed. Game of inches right there, boys. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Pretty good right hand. Go 
Out of range with that one. Look at the force behind that leg. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, big left hand. We'll see if he can follow it up. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. He is all about that left kick to the body. Under two minutes to go now in our opening round. Good defense to block the strike coming back. There's no tell on that leg kick. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very distant. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. And both guys really throwing with authority. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. I don't know if we should laud the chin of his opponent or give him the credit for landing head kick after head kick. When the head kicks land this often on the video game, it's because player one understands the game much better than player two. Tell your friend how to play the game, teach him how to block, or teach him how to throw the head kick too. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw his full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. Oh! It's a sight to behold. Try to establish that jab. Changes his stance. You'll see a lot of this from this fighter. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Hey. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're gonna sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Oh, lands a stiff punch there, nice connection. Oh, nice land. Well, don't get mad, get even, right? He got stunned by his opponent earlier in the round. He's clearly been losing since. Mentally, it appears as though he's checked out. A lot easier said than done. When his opponent has the power that he possesses, it's hard for him to say, you know what? I'm gonna take one to give one. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Visibly limping here. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Hands high, hands high. Big body kick. Oh, that's nice. Go finish this 
fight. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land anywhere. Oh, nice jab. Oh, tags him with that money left again. So a huge round for him there. Nearly had him out of there with the head kick. Did get the knockdown. Talk us through the replay. He got the knockdown. He won the round. He did everything correct. The only thing he didn't do is finish the fight. But if he continues down the path, if he continues to do the exact same thing as he did before, he will get that finish. Like it might have been a good one, but it gets blocked. Went for the inside leg kick. Let's go! Get behind that right! That's a big strike right there. Look at him chopping. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. Just over three minutes to go. Man, look at that damage on the right side of his body. Starting to really bruise now. to knee the body now, DC. Talk to us about that strength. They suck so bad, especially when you're going forward. You walk full speed to the knee of the body. It could in the night. Oh! Oh, he's going with the punch and he lands. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. Oh, so an interesting decision there as he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. Whoa! Oh, he tasted that knockout life! He tasted the knockout life! He's done, he's done! I'm not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout, and that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so a big, big win for him here tonight. So a huge result and a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the big knockout win. That could hold up as one of the better KOs of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 15 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon! moment and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete right i know you enjoyed the birth of your kids right yeah. but you knock out a man in a cage fight i can't think of anything better i mean there's nothing like it you know you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights and tonight he got that done and he should be very proud